Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Gamecocks will put total leather to crank us up. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Crimson Tide offense takes the field to start things off. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run play action. Grab near the marker, it's wrong. They'll get the first down, it's spotted on the 49. Well, that's a real good looking throw, and I, I know at Alabama recently, they've had a lot of different quarterbacks, and they've had also had a lot of different guys calling plays. But one thing that's never seemed to waver is how explosive the offense has been, and the big reason is because of the efficient play they've had consistently year in, year out at the quarterback position as well. They recruited extremely well. They coach these guys up. And this is a guy who loves football, loves the X's and O's, and you're seeing it translate onto the field right now. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The give to the back. Running with power. And he left the first defender grabbing at air before he was finally tackled. Really good-looking run. You know, you think about the legacy Alabama has at the running back position. It's ridiculous. Mark Ingram won a Heisman, obviously. Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs. I'm going to go back to Sean Alexander, who I played against back in the day, too. All these guys had speed. All these guys had vision and quickness. And this guy right here, he has all of those traits himself. Just another big-time talent in the Crimson Tide backfield. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. On the ground, it's Haynes. Pulled down after a pickup of five, but they knocked that defense back, and they've got it down to the 34. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Ryan just big tight end. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Second down coming up. Down.
They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but they'll have to convert third and long to keep it going. To the air, it's Milrow. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? They're <laughs> finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. The give and the run on fourth down. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The Tide with the first and ten. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's got it on the run. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. The quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, he'll let it fly. Caught near the sticks. It's Bernard. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. With the run on first and goal. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown tie. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner goes down. The Gamecocks offense will take the field for the first time. Both of these defenses, David, anchored by star middle backers. I mean, they're just stars right in the middle of the defense. You'll see them go sideline to sideline, and they will make plays all over the field. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Didn't get much on the return, but what a huge play, and they are in business at the 24. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. Offense set on first down. On the run, it's Haynes. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Fires to the end zone. Just threw that one way too far. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football. You saw that there on the incompletion. 
defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. All right, so now you're in this third-down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run-pass option. I like that, too. Get the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's... He makes a catch at the end zone! Touchdown, Bama! And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Fights off a defender. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator or the offensive line coach is block those guys. Don't watch them tackle on guys. On third down, he drops to throw. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And I'm putting that one in my back pocket. I'm going to start. I'm going to highlight it. That blitz came home. We are going to need that down the road, and I'll be ready to call that one. The Gamecocks send out the punt unit. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Looking for room, it's Haynes. Jukes his way for more. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. The back goes in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Miller. Hard running there. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game. But when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats.
just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Out of the gun to give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. The play action fake. And that one's too high and too wide. Out of bounds and incomplete. You hear about shot plays all the time. Offensive coordinators love to take deep shots down the field. They plan them. They plan when they're going to do them. And I bet you will plan to see a few more throughout this game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. He's going to take off. Got room at the 35. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Alabama pushing the tempo. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Throws toward the end zone. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. Give to the running back. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Man, who says you can't run the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Catch in the middle. It's Bernard. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Well, this defense knew coming in. They were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. 
They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Looking for a gap. It's Sanders. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. The Gamecocks will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got it. In the middle, it's Prentice. That play won't make the highlight reel, except in the coaches' meetings as he works his way to the 39. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved, to get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a room. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Fires to the wideout. Pulls it in. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Really nice play getting that first down. And listen, I know when a lot of people think about the Crimson Tide recently, they think about the success they've had at the quarterback position. A big reason why, though, those guys have been playing so well, they're throwing the NFL talent all over the field. And this dude right here, he could be the next first-round pick at the wide receiver position from Ben. The run from the shotgun. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your run. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll go with a direct snap. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. A cornerstone of the Alabama program really throughout history has been be physical, establish a running game. Yeah, great running backs. I mean, not only are you recruiting great players in the offensive line and skill and all over the place, but so many great backs that you can name off the top of your head that played at Alabama, that ran it with an edge, that ran it physical, that always represented that style. And you can see Alabama, they're always going to do this. They're going to establish the run. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. and throw off the RPO. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. How about the mix of play calls on this drive? Three runs, three passes, and now they're in business. And just keeping the defense completely off balance. When you think it's a run, it's a pass. When you think it's a pass, it's a run. Nice job by this offense going right down the field in six plays and now set up for first and goal. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they finish it off with the score from the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's McDowell. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse. Down to Balls out. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. And now this offense will take the field again. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. He's got it and still on his feet. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time, and you saw all of it on that in route. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll go to the air on third and short. He caught it! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama! The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Simon. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half, so they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. And the Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. To the air, it's Sellers. Unloads to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. 
Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. This is a third and long. Trying to get the corner. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way and the coverage team gets the returner on the ground here comes the offense on first down he's gonna pass throws to the wideout finds a man by himself He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He wants to throw right down the middle. It's complete. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something. We can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. It's first and 10 from the 13. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Finds his big tight end. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. Gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power... This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Alabama ready to put a boot to it to start the second half. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. What could go wrong did in the first half, and they start this third quarter at the bottom of the mountain. Man, that was bad. That was a frying pan to the head. That was a TKO. It was awful in the first half. Flush it. I got to start doing something right. I got to find some positives. I get the ball first to start this possession, try to put a scoring drive together. The only thing you can do at this point offensively is just make sure your best players are touching the football as often as possible. You recruited these guys. You got guys out of the portal. You put your faith in them to make plays. This is a time to go out and do it. Catch in the middle. It's Harbor. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. 
That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Takes the handoff. It's Sanders. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Sellers. Trying to get to it. Quickly out to the tight end. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable. Really putting this offense in a good position. Line is set on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Hunt. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. The Gamecocks are on the move. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Keeps the legs moving. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Power football with the run. Oh, the ball's on the ground. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for, like, 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion, like, I got to get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. Third down is where the money is made, but they're lucky to be here after that ball was loose. Looking to throw for it. Pressure coming. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And the Gamecocks line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the right. It's caught. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Listen, the comeback route is one of the more difficult routes to throw in college football. You see zone, and they're bailing, getting out of there. Nice job by the receiver, sticking his foot in the ground, coming back to the quarterback, catching the ball. Nice pitch, nice catch. Using his legs, it's Haynes. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Off the play fake. Fires to the big fella. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz. And not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end. And he add the answer to the test right there. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Extending the play. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I love when you change the launch point, when you move the quarterback and bootleg him outside of the pocket. You can see he does a really good job of gaining depth as he goes outside. Now he's a threat to run the football or throw it. Guys have to drop back a little bit, and then he can run the football and get a positive game. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Back to pass. It's Milrow. They're setting up the screen. 
He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. He'll throw on third down. And this veteran quarterback just overshot his man that time. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. This kicker bragged that he can kick an 80-yard field goal. He'll settle for a 59-yarder here. And he rushes it right through the upright. It's good from 59. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. That lead just keeps getting fatter and this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. They try to pop a run on the draw. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Fires to the middle. Makes the grab. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Red pass, it's complete. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Defense came into this one prepared for these quick receiver screen passes. Nice job beating blocks at the point of attack and rallying to the football. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Brown. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Nice job by the quarterback, pre-snap and post-snap. He knew the defense was going to be playing zone coverage, and there was no doubt in his mind where he was going with that football. After an abysmal first half, goose egg on the scoreboard, the offense trying to find itself. It's first down. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. Caught in the backfield, it's Brown. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long-yarded situations. Eighth play of the drive coming up. 
He'll keep it himself. Got enough for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Leaves it with the back. Noses his way forward, maybe gets one. They'll mark it at the 18. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, running back on the move. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He leaves it with his back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, Blim and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll take a shot. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty, and it's a turnover. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. They'll go to the toss. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Trying play action. Makes a connection. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. Alabama with a first and 10 here. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Miller. At the 35, he's open. Just like that. A huge gain, and they've got it inside the 10. They'll mark it at the 8. Man, it's go time for this defense now. I mean, you're down by a couple scores, and they're still making big plays. You've got to find a way to get a stop, create a turnover, switch the momentum to your side quickly.
And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king, too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Looking to throw on third and goal. He makes a grab. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, look, I know they didn't get a first down on that play. As a coach, though, you love to see your players giving great effort. It doesn't need to be a bomb way down the field. It can just be a short throw. He's putting everything out there on the field, trying to make plays for his offense. They're thinking touchdown here on fourth and goal. The kicker stays on the sideline. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. They're backed up first and ten from their own one. First up, they've got to avoid disaster. On the run, it's Sanders. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Back to throw, it's Sellers. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. He wants to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Good call, good execution as they move the chains, and they have a first down at the 38. Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. He's looking to throw it. Unloads it left. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. The Gamecocks with the first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the catch. It's Sanders. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. 
And this game is obviously out of hand. And, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let, let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Got his man in the middle. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And the Gamecocks are threatening in the red zone. He's looking to throw on third and short. Caught in the backfield. It's Simon. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Third down, man. You'd think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. With this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobbled him up behind the line of scrimmage. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Field goal is good. Let's not say they cut into the deficit with that field goal. Maybe just, I don't know, tweaked a little bit of it away with their fingernail. And you just sort of wonder if that's some kind of moral victory from the head coach. You're not going to get shut out in front of all these eyeballs. We're just going to put three points up on the board. As a player, I used to absolutely hate that if I was on the losing team because you're just trying to save face. I want to go down and try and score a touchdown. I know the chances aren't great, but let me go out there and compete. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And the quarterback takes a knee. 